As mentioned, MagSafe wallets keep coming out of the market. Exter is no different from this. They call the MagSafe card holder. It does work with, of course, their MagSafe capable phone cases. But anyway, let's get into it. Comes in this nice uh, simple sleeve that we have here. It uh, comes out like this, and there are a number of extra products that utilize this. It's a it's a fine packaging method. So if we pull this out, you can see we have some instructions on here, which is nice, a little hard to read. And here is the wallet. We'll set these aside. It is a top-down card, a vertical card entry point. Very very thin and incredibly light and it tends to mimic, as you can see, the actual Apple uh, wallet itself with the rear thumb push, but let's look at the sewing really quick, which it does have very thin cut leather. But boy, yeah, this is the lightest of all the wallets I think I've looked at so far from a MagSafe perspective. Awesome. It only comes in black. I think they're testing the market to see if they want to create more in different colors. But anyway, onto the feature review. As mentioned, we have Two, these are vertical card slots, one and two from the top. Capacity of three, plus cards actually. Cash is capable of here, folded enough, you can put it in from this angle. We uh, flip this over, we notice that we have a rear axis thumb push to help get the cards out. This of course means that you have to detach the wallet every time you wanna get cards out, kind of. You actually could still get them from here, but this is a, a great way to get the cards in the back out. And of course it has the interior MagSafe capabilities in here. The magnet is uh, built into this, and that's what allows it to attach to any Apple iPhone 12 or better phones. And that's a quick review of the feature of the Exter MagSafe card holder. It measures 3.9 by 2.4 by 0.1, and it weighs 19 grams or 0.7 ounces. I told you this thing was really light. Minimalist carry on this is one, reasonable I think is up to four. The company provides no recommendation beyond three cards, but it certainly can take more. I mean, you saw I got three in there as well as cash and it just went in nicely. As you can see how it fits in the pocket, of course it attaches to the phone without an issue, goes in, comes out. Uh, really no concerns about how this works and again it can stand as its own wallet. Well, not my favorite from a quality material feel, it, it is leather, it just feels kind of cheap. I can appreciate the slimness and the ability to carry more than three cards without a lot of bulk, it's awesome. The two slot design is a departure from the primarily one slot design that we see with the Apple wallet. So you have, and these are stacked as you noticed, one is lower than the other which means you can get these cards out just fine this way. And of course, for the top card, you can push it for the thumb push on the rear. The material that's used on the interior here is really, really nice because it provides so little friction, but the cards, they're not gonna come out very easily either. So this is a, a, a nice presentation. Comes with a one year warranty, like all extra products do, and a 14 day refund policy. From a quality perspective, this is designed in the Netherlands and it's made in China. Leather is premium hides from the Echo Company. We've talked about them on some other Bellroy products, as well as uh, the leather versions of extra wallets. The leather is very thinly cut, and it's fused to this nylon, which is in every slot like we've seen before. I'll show you here, we'll take these out. You can see that uh, the top is the leather, and then it gets into the lining behind it. Same thing here. You can see the leather, before we see the thumb hole, hello, right there at the top. And so it's very thinly cut, but it will stretch on this exterior. Now this is a good because the liner in here helps separate the cards so there's not a lot of friction. It does have RFID, what, I know, but it's okay because we don't want any conflict between Apple Pay and what's here. So it's a, actually pretty good. It doesn't have a mechanism to grip the cards and is not pre-molded. So let me show you what pre-molding means. This does not have any pre-molding in it which means that as you put cards in it stretches. If you look at the Apple wallet, this is pre-molded. It comes with its capacity built in of three cards. And so this does not overstretch, it will not, but you're limited to just three cards. Whereas with the extra wallet, you have leather and you can put more in here and get greater capacity if you're looking for that. It's priced for $31. Now from a usability perspective, I did mention that it has these stacked card slots, which really makes it easy. You can get to these cards from the exterior without needing to go to the 
interior with this thumb push slot if you'd like. So you have options there without taking it off the phone, but honestly, I've never seen a MagSafe wallet that you don't have to take off the phone. Really, you have to. It's just how it functions. Now, the magnets, I don't think, are that strong. However, because it's so light, it feels like it has a lot of strength. So we have my wallet here. We'll add this to it. No cards in, obviously, but it uh, it does have some good grip to it. Um, and it's <laughs> because it's so thin, I mean, really, this helps function well. And I think lighter MagSafe wallets do help adhere more, with more strength because really there's less material. More material adds weight and makes it easier to come off. Now of course this works with any MagSafe case, including the cases produced by Exter. Now on to the final score. For quality of four, price of three, features of four. I like the vertical two slots for access, usability of three, relatively easy to use, and perception of four. That gives us a great score of 36 out of 50. Keep looking at our different MagSafe wallet reviews we have going on. I uh, hope you have found these enjoyable. I know if you're not an iPhone user, they're kind of a drag. But anyway, we'll see you in the next review. Bye.